If you have even the cheapest web hosting plan from Hostinger, you have the ability to create up to 100 professional email addresses completely free of charge. So in this video, I'll show you the easiest way to set it all up to avoid spam and secure your data as much as possible. So once inside your Hostinger dashboard, click on the emails tab to get started. Now, Hostinger will try to pull a sneaky on you and create the illusion that you need to buy this feature, but just click on this small setup button and activate the free emails. Now select the domain name you want to use as your professional email address, and you'll have the option to choose the free plan. Here, just create your email and password. I'll go with hello at emmetemails.com and click on the create button. Leave this window open for now, but technically your email address already works. If you would go to mail.hostinger.com and type in your credentials, it will take you to your email box. But nobody wants to visit mail.hostinger.com every time you want to check your email. So first, I'll show you how to set it up for Gmail. So you can just use Gmail on your computer, phone or tablet and send as well as receive through Gmail. So go back to this window and click on recommended apps. There are a few to choose from, but the process is generally the same. But you can find all of the information you need for all of the apps if you just go on server settings. Once we have this information, we'll need to go to any Gmail account you want to use for this. I'll just use a free personal one. So once inside your Gmail account you want to use for this, click on settings and see all settings. Navigate to accounts and import and then select send mail as. Click on add another email address. Here you can set up the name you want to send as. I'll go with my business name emmet.reviews and I'll type in the email address I've created on Hostinger called hello at emmetemails.com. I'll keep the treat as an alias button checked. Keeping this box checked will allow you to use both your professional and personal emails from one account and choose which one you want to send as instead of having to log out and log back in between the two accounts every time you need to check your email. Moving forward, you'll notice you'll need SMTP or a simple mail transfer protocol info. So let's grab that from Hostinger and paste it in. First, copy the SMTP server, then choose the port, which is 465, and finally type in your email account credentials. So for me, it's my email address and the password I've created on Hostinger earlier. Once that's in, click on Add Account. To finalize this link, we'll need to visit our Hostinger email box on mail.hostinger.com to click a verify link. Once it's verified, I highly recommend you check this reply from the same address the message was sent to box. That means if people send emails to my personal email, which is emmetreviews at gmail.com, and I click reply, it'll send a message from that email address. But if I now receive an email to hello at emmetemail.com, I'll automatically reply from that address as well so your personal and business emails won't get mixed up. But this link only allows us to receive emails. We still need the ability to send emails as well. For that, click on add a mail account, then type in your email address. In the following box, check POP3 and click on next. Now again, fill out your login details. For me, it's hello at emmetemails.com and my password. For our POP information, we can go back to Hostinger and copy, then paste it in. Then select the proper port, which is 995 in this case. Now I like to check leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server, so instead of transferring my emails, they're available in both my Gmail box and my Hostinger server. It's like a mini backup. Then I check always use a secure connection, SSL, when retrieving mail. So my emails cannot be read while they're being transferred from my Hostinger server to my Gmail account because they're traveling in an encrypted tunnel, otherwise known as an SSL, 
instead of just a plain old download that any hacker can steal. I also check label incoming messages and for the label I either use the default one or create something like my brand name. So the emails in my box that were sent to my business email clearly stand out with this tag and I don't get mixed up. Finally, click on add account. Once that's done, you can change your label color for it to stand out even more. As you can see, an email that was sent to my business address now have this cool tag. And if I go to compose to write a new email, I can choose to send either from my personal email and name or my business name and email. Let's see if our email is properly configured and works by going to mail-tester.com and sending a mail to the provided address. Make sure to create at least some demo content and avoid using words like test because those get flagged as spam by default. As you can see, the score is 100 out of 100 and even our authentication passed with flying colors. And that's the best part about using Hostinger. They automatically set up DKIM, SPF, and DMARC authentication on any email you create through Hostinger if your domain name is also bought from Hostinger. Most other web hosting companies do not do this, and you would have to do it yourself. Of course, most people don't know because they don't even know these settings exist, so that's why their emails often land in spam. The SPF record will automatically include your new email address as a verified entity that's allowed to use your domain name. So only you will be able to send emails using your domain name and every impersonator that tries to use your address to scam victims will get automatically rejected and won't be allowed to send. The DKIM record will automatically sign your emails with an invisible encrypted key. And this key will be checked once again after the email arrives. So it makes sure that hackers don't change the content of the email while it's still in transit. And finally, DMARC is an alert system. If someone does try to mess with your emails and their messages won't pass SPF or DKIM authentication, you'll get a notification with info about who and how try to do what. So you'll be able to investigate and take action. Now you can complete these steps like 100 times for 100 different email boxes. You can even connect multiple business emails to one Gmail box and enjoy professional email services at no additional cost to you. Hope you found this helpful and good luck creating your websites and may these spam gods be merciful.